Our number three seeded alliance in blue is in the lead. They have the first win, and one more will send them to finals. One hatch panel on the cargo ship from Jack and the Bot. They missed out trying to pick up their second, so not up to their usual standards. 1983 put a hatch panel on the cargo ship for red, and with all of that dust settled, the Red Alliance does have a slim early advantage. 2046 nearly topples to the ground, but just loses their cargo. They're able to reconnect and resume their work. However, the Blue Alliance has pulled back to nearly even. It's 25-24 in favor of Red at the moment. 1899 is motionless in the half. They were the defensive stalwarts in the first match and almost single-handedly took 1983 out of the game. If they're unable to play, this one will look very different than the first round. 2910 has already filled up the first level of the fir backside Blue Alliance Rocket. 360 in their way. Scores all square as the Red Alliance sees skunks and bears side by side with hatch panels. 1983 places theirs first. Then here comes 2046. Theirs is no good onto the floor and only two points out of that exchange and it's still even Steven at 35. Game pieces falling to the floor. Now 360 and 2910 all tangled and we have something to sort out here as we approach one minute to play. Blue Alliance now looking at a lead of four points, making now a one-point deficit as we are under 50 seconds to play in this match. Jack and the Bot right back to the nose of the cargo ship, undeterred by that scuffle with the Revolution. Their Alliance partners, Royal Robotics, have finished off the first level of the front side Blue Rocket, and they are back for more. Here comes Jack and the Bot. They're looking for a place to put cargo. Bare Metal knocks some pieces loose on the red cargo ship, and Skunk Works trying to work on that front side rocket. A very close back and forth match as we come up on the final 20 seconds here in semifinal match number four. Saints Robotics not only motionless, but blocking access to level three of the HAB. We'll see if the Blue Lions can make that work. Red Robots back in the area. 29-10 deftly pushes their Alliance partner aside. Five seconds, can they get up? Three, two, one, they do not do it. Red Robots parked on their HAB. And with time expired, we will sort this out and see what the final official scores show. Don't leave your seat. You're going to want to see the results right after this.
Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Head referee Natalie Jansen is issuing a yellow card to the Red Alliance for a violation of Rule G20, initiating, initiating deliberate or damaging contact on or inside the frame perimeter of an opponent. That violation issued to Team 360. Once again, a yellow card issued to the Red Alliance for a violation of Rule G20. That card has been entered and the scores are finalized. Victors in semifinal number four, the Blue Alliance. Our number three seed will move on to the finals by a score of 83 to 68. Congratulations to our three seed. But we do need to say goodbye to our number two seed alliance in red. So please help me congratulate and thank Team 2046, your hosts, Bare Metal, Team 360, The Revolution, and their alliance captains, Team 1983, Skunkworks Robotics. It will be the number one seed and the number three seed in our finals, but we're going to give everybody a breather. We are in a six-minute field timeout. Once again, we are in a six-minute field timeout. <laughs> 